Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with our absolutely huge and very 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 handsome Apple Guardian and even though he is so ready to go back to the stable and get away from all of the drama that the very 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 catty um, Bobcat girls have started up with one, one another here at Moreland Stables, I wanted him to have a good chance to meet Conrad and Conrad to have a good chance to meet him because I have a feeling I am going to need some very very fancy very large horseshoes at some point in the future and actually I don't think that you really ever get any other horseshoes um other than the ones you start with as starter gear but I would have to imagine that one day in the future they would add that in that would just be so much money that Conrad could make making a whole bunch of specialized horseshoes for everybody but we're gonna go ahead and talk to him today about all of the missing money that is here at Moreland and trying to get to the bottom of this mystery so let's see what he has to say maybe on the way to the smith Hello, Saga. Oh, Tan lost her money? That's sad. I haven't seen or heard anything here. I think you'll have to return and tell her that. Sorry. All right, so that's going to be what we tell her. But what is this stone hunt on the highlands? I do love hunting for stones. The Yorvik Lapis Lazuli, a rare and beautiful blue stone. To be able to find it, you need to search long and hard. But I found a place nearby where I found a few specimens. Right up to the western part of Nilmer's Highland. You know, the area to the west of the abandoned farm where I think you used to compete with the Bobcat girls. Ride to the rocky knolls to the far west of that area. If you're lucky, you can find some lapis lazuli there. Return to me when you've found three stones. You can borrow my stone pick if you break off the pieces. Oh, awesome! I can't remember why I'm collecting that for him, but that's so awesome! Oh, I think Apple Guardian will forgive me about doing that because those are the stones! Do you guys remember? I begged to find out when we would be able to collect from those stones ages ago, and now we know. I'm very excited about that. All right, and then small tools are easy to lose. Good day to you, Saga. I'm afraid I don't have any time to chat just now. You see, I promised to get these flower pots finished for Jenna before sundown, and I'm already running behind schedule. Hmm, this hammer isn't the right tool for these flower pots. I would think not, Conrad. I mean, how are you going? That would be that would be really hard if you took a hammer to some flower pots. I'm pretty sure you're going to have some issues there. If these uh, are to be world class, then there needs to be no compromise. I need my tiniest hammer. Why am I delayed? Well, I'll tell you about it if you pass me the tiniest hammer. Thanks. I suppose a very quick break wouldn't hurt. So let me tell you about this decidedly bizarre happening that's caused my delay. It was this morning, you see. Just as I was about to start work for the day, a strange man came walking towards the smithy with his hood up and sunglasses on. It was too warm for a hoodie, and the sun was hidden by the clouds, so I thought it was most particular, peculiar. Anyway, he seemed quite lost and asked me the way to Silverglade Village. I explained the route, head up the hill and head left at the crossroads, and he just looked confused. He said he didn't understand. I couldn't quite get to grips with it. Surely my directions weren't that unclear. Well, well, nobody can say that Conrad Mar Marsden can't give directions, so I decided to give him the best directions anyone had ever given anyone, ever. I told him all about where exactly he should walk, pointing at the castle and telling him the story so that the importance of the landmark on his route couldn't possibly be forgotten. So that he could definitely be 100% certain, I told him absolutely everything about the history of the castle, from Jan Jarl's time to the present day. I even took the seasonal and weather old conditions into account when calculating his route. It took me the entire morning to describe it to him in this level of detail, and these directions have to be a masterpiece that no soul could ever have misunderstood. When I turned to him to ask if he had any questions, he disappeared. I imagine my directions were so precise and so detailed that he didn't need to hear any more to be able to find his destination. Ah, well, I felt as though my pride were restored, and this man was quite clearly satisfied with my work, so I didn't think anything more of it. That said, it caused me some considerable delay, but at least it was in doing a good deed. Now then, I've rested quite enough on this little break. Will you fetch my smallest hammer for me, like you said? It's on the table there, over by the smithy. Alright, so let's go ahead and get him his small hammer. <laughs> oh my goodness, Conrad, he is such a character. We're going to search for the small hammer. Alright, nothing here. Now Conrad's going to be missing something. You couldn't find a hammer. Did you look on the table? Did you look properly? And down the side as well? You couldn't spot it, you say? Odd. I never lost a tool in my entire life. 
Has my memory finally let me down after all these years? Have I reached the ripe old age where I should call it a day? <sighs> oh my goodness, Conrad. Cat uh, catastrophic news about delayed flower pots. Saga, this is absolutely one of the very worst days of my entire life. I am not going to be able to deliver in order on the greed pawn time. It is the first time ever. Would you be able to give Jenna the terrible news that her flower pots won't be finished today? Thank you, Saga. Now you must excuse me. I need to find that hammer now. Let Jenna know that I will not rest a single moment until the hammer's found and the pots are finished. I swear on my honor as a blacksmith. Tell Jenna what's happened and please ask her to accept my apologies. Even if it's a stain on my impeccable record, that may never be removed. Now I must be off, Saga. Away I go to wonder what to do next, since my career is obviously in ruins. I haven't even had time to teach a trainee to take over the smithy. Is this how it all ends? Hmm? My life's work in flames like this? This is truly a day of tragedy. Tell Jenna that. Oh my gosh, Conrad! It's gonna be okay. Oh, I think that I think that um, Apple Guardian definitely likes Conrad. So we're gonna ride down. We're going to try to help Conrad out. I think being away from the Bobcat girls and into the depths of the forest have given Apple Guardian a sense of peace after all of that chaos. And we're gonna come on over and we're gonna tell Jenna all about it and see what she has to say about all of this missing stuff. My flower pots are delayed? What flower pots? Oh, flower pots. Yeah, I asked Conrad a while ago to make me some flower pots, but I'd pretty much forgotten all about them. Huh. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter if they're late. It was mostly just a bit of fun. Any special reason Conrad's running late? He gave directions to some odd man and then couldn't find one of his hammers, you say? Weird. I'm not sure it's just a coincidence, Saga. Something fishy's going on here in Moreland. If you hear any more weird going on, come and tell me. Oh, Jenna, if only you knew. I don't need to spend the night, Jenna, not just yet. If only poor Jenna knew. Her entire, her entire stable, all of Moreland's stables is just going cattywampus. All right, let's see. Let's right over here. And let's try talking to Julie and the Bobcat's best competi competition writer. And let's just see what this is. Saga, want to come with me and my sister Mandy to Yar uh, Yahara today? I d you don't know what uh, Yaharla is? All I can say is OMG. Yaharla is a horse gear store. I've been waiting for them to open a store in Yorvik City for years, and they've finally done it. Or they're opening today, actually, so I've convinced Mandy to meet up at Governor's Fall to go shopping. But if you haven't been and shopped at Yahara, then you don't have a choice. You just have to come along. You'll promise. You will love it. I promise. If we're going to Fort, uh, if we're still going to Fort Pinta to take a bus from there, how about a little race between us bobcats? Ha! Get ready to lose Saga, but don't worry now. I'm not a sore winner. Loretta and Tan are busy checking out a new riding track between Moreland and Fort Pinta, so I think we should check it out. Ready? Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. All of a sudden, we're going shopping. I really want to help Conrad out, but it seems like that's gonna take a little while. Oh my gosh! And then we might lose this race. We just might potentially lose this race because Apple Guardian is only at level one. Apple Guardian, where are we supposed to go? Apple Guardian! Apple Guardian! Wrong way! Oh, she's gonna pass this up, Apple Guardian! All right, come on, buddy. Oh, I really need to get him a saddle pet, don't I? Come on, come on, let's move it. All right, come on, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's so big. I can't get him through the fence because he's too, too large. Okay, up we go. There we go. Now we're back. All right. No, 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 no. I thought there was going to be a jump there. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have ruined it. I have ruined this race. It is dead. I have killed this race. Apple Guardian doesn't even know what to do. He's stuck in a bush. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, this is pretty terrible. Competition failed. We're going to start over. Sorry, Apple Guardian. I, I can't blame you for being a little bit put out with me. Uh, like, we were a little too fast for some of the things that we were trying to do. And now I know where we're going and that we don't have to... Uh, there's a cliff jump right over here that I thought we were headed for. So I made a big mess of it. All right. And we'll ride up here. So this is going to be a new racetrack, huh? All right. There we go. Let's come this way. This is much better. Sorry about that, Apple Guardian. You deserved so much better for one of your first races. All right, let's see where he's going to go. Can we can we make this? Yes! All right, he did it. And again, not bad. Now we've got a little bit 
of a pattern going down. Okay, gotta be careful, because I can't see where the heck we're going next. All right, and then around, and then up. See, there's that jump. I was thinking about that jump the whole time, <laughs> and it wasn't even anywhere near where we were going. And that's why it's a good thing to get out and just race your horse now and then. You really get introduced to the same land that you have been walking again and again and again for months in a whole new way. That's one of the other things I really love about Star Stable is that you don't have to go to brand new places to be introduced to entirely brand new ways to look at things that you've seen for ages. Sorry about that, Apple Guardian. Keep moving. All right, there we go. All right, and there's the next spot. And then let's see, there's the next spot right over here. Oh, and is this just gonna take us straight to Fort Pinta? That's so cool. I don't know if I actually wanna go all the way to um, like the bus, like get on the bus and go to the next place, but there we go. And let's go ahead and see if that gave him a little bit of a boost. There you go. Uh, just so you know, I let you win, duh. As if you'd be a better rider than me. <laughs> All right, and that gave him, yay, now he's level two, huzzah. Let's jump on the bus to the governor's ball. No doubt Mandy's already waiting for us there. Um, I mean, I guess we can. All right, we're gonna do this. We'll go and collect the lapis lazuli later, but I do think it'll be fun just to go ahead and pop over to governor's fall. Stay here, Apple Guardian. I'm sure you'll have a good time with her horse. Uh, do I have my bus ticket on me? I do, thank goodness. But yeah, we'll go ahead and go to Governor's Fall and we'll see if Mandy is waiting at the brand new store. It has been a long time since I popped over to Governor's Fall anyway. All right, and present the bus ticket and we're gonna go over to the fall. This is so fun, having a whole new city to explore. That's why I wanna get through with a whole bunch of the big quests that we we're supposed to be doing too. Because, yay, there's Mandy. All right, the sisters are finally back together. This is so cool. Finally! What took you so long to get off the bus? Do you remember my sister, Mandy? Of course I do. Hey, Saga! Cool to see you again. It's been a while. Julie's been nagging me every day since she found out that Yahara is opening in Governor's Fall. <laughs> now that she started giving me lessons, who knows? Maybe one day I'll be a bobcat or start my own riding club. <laughs> I'm so hyped today. I'm going to buy my own first set of gear. Julie says the equipment you use is important in horse riding. But it's still cool that you're coming with. Who knows? Maybe you'll find something nice too. I've already had a sneak peek in the Yahara shop window. It's not far, just across the street. Come on. All right. Oh, this is so fun. I love the music here too. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And there's groups of people just like chatting together. This is so fun. All right. Oh, there's new people all over the place. So I think this is supposed to be the new store. Maybe? That doesn't look like the right store. So where are the girls? It's supposed to be, oh wait, this direction. I totally went the wrong direction. That's kind of hilarious. All right, and who's this? Martine. Why today of all days? So typical, this is a total disaster. Sorry girls, I know Yaharla was supposed to be opening today, but unfortunately that's not the case. I have to call the locksmith and get her to come and fix this. What happened? Uh, well, I was stupid and threw away the keys to the store. I know, I know. It was really stupid, but you know, I have a real bird phobia. I was going to open the shop a few hours ago, but when I got to the shop, there was a bunch of magpies at the front door. I tried screaming at them to scare them away, but they just stood and squawked at me. It was like they knew I was scared. Without thinking, I threw the key at them. It made them fly away, but unfortunately, the key got stuck on one of the bird's legs. Without turning the key, I couldn't get into the store. Did I see in which direction the birds flew? Ha. Huh. Those bad birds usually sit and hide in the trees outside of Leonardo's uh, ice cream parlor. They're just waiting to scare poor innocent people. Did you say you'd get the key back for me? Huh. I don't know if you'd be able to, but if you do, I'll be a happy man. Oh my goodness, we get to go and help out some birdos. Where'd Mandy go? Okay, there's Mandy. So I'm gonna go and play with some birds. I'm so excited. Apparently there's a whole bunch of magpies that need help. So we're gonna run over here. And then let's see, Sierra. Hey, excuse me, have you seen two girls walking around and looking a little lost on their way here? No, you haven't seen anyone? Sorry to bother you, but I was supposed to meet my two friends here, but it seems, but it's been almost an hour and I'm worried they may be lost. Neither of them are from Yorvik City and it can be hard to find. Could I ask you a favor? I don't want to leave here and go look for them in case they turn up while I'm gone, but it would be really nice if you could look for them. I'll buy some ice cream in return. They can't be far. They must be somewhere in the area. 
Oh, all right. So we're looking for some friends who have disappeared. They better not have stood that poor girl up. That would make me quite agitated. Oh, were those birdos? Those were birdos. Oh my goodness. Okay, so something about magpies in the trees. Oh, over here, over here, you guys. Okay. <gasps> Look at that big, beautiful magpie. Oh, he's so gorgeous. I am in love. I love him. Oh my gosh. Hitting and shaking the tree. Look at these beautiful birds. They're so awesome. Oh, look, there's the key. All right, we got it. Oh, I am so in love. Look at him. <gasps> He's such a teensy little guy. He's just peck, 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 peck. Oh, I love birds. You guys know how much I love birds. So that is awesome. I wonder if one day you could have like a bird as a pet that like sits on your saddle instead of just in the saddle bag. All right, Martine, the key, you got it back from the magpies. That's so amazing! Now I can finally open up Yaharla. Have you been to any of our other stores? No? Then you've really missed out. Yaharla has the best horse riding gear you can imagine. Now, nah, let's not stand here shooting the breeze. Time to open the store. If you want, you can have the honor of turning the key. After all, it's thanks to you we can open the store today. Oh, that's so cool! Alright, so he's given me the key. I'm gonna put it in. And unlock the door. Maybe that'll really impress Mandy and her sister. I hereby declare this establishment officially opened. Thanks again for all your help, Zaga. You're welcome to come and check out our stylish products whenever you need something new for your horse. Yay! All right, what do you think about that, Julie? Was that impressive? I totally went and uh, chatted with those magpies. What are you waiting for, Zaga? I'm going to check out the store right now. Let's meet out here when everybody has seen enough. All right, so we're going to pop inside. And let's see what's inside. So this is a brand new store. Somehow I got, <gasps> look at how beautiful you are. Oh my gosh. Somehow I got roped into coming over here. Um, and yeah, this would be better, better gear than I've currently got on him for sure. Cause he just has like the normal saddles, uh, but that's cause they look really cool. Oh my goodness. All right. Can I get a different camera angle on this guy? Maybe not. All right, so trendy saddles. Oh, and you have to be higher levels to have these things, some of them. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be buying these today, but I'm really glad to know there's a whole new fancy, super elite store that we could come to to get some new saddle gear. And I just ran into the street. That's fine. Did you find anything, Saga? I bought a stylish new bridle for Firewind. He deserves it. Also helped Mandy find a really stylish set of gear. Now we only need to get her a horse. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you don't even have a horse yet, Mandy. That's so adorable. All right, let's see. I'll have to wait to invest in my own horse when I'm living a little better. But it was cool to see you again, Saga. Maybe we could get to meet more in the future. Julie and I have to go now for some sister time, you know? I just wanted to say thanks. It's thanks to you, Saga, that Julie and I can do this stuff. So I convinced Julie that we should get you a little thank you gift. <gasps> Look at that! Some leg wraps. Thank you, ladies. That's so nice of both of you, especially because Julie's a bobcat girl. Huh, you? It wasn't it I who said we should get her a thank you gift, Mandy. But thanks anyway, Saga. See you later. Oh, and they're gone. I'm just like glancing around myself like, where did they go? They've left me. All right. Well, that's really fun, you guys. A nice little quest to open up a new store. Cool new people wandering around. I absolutely adore their animations. They're very stunning. And I'm just going to take a little peek around this corner to see if there's anybody looking lost. Lots of protesters still. This is quite fascinating. Oh, there's sad people. People yelling and arguing. I love that lady's outfit. I love their animations. I always forget how intense the big city can be. This is really cool. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and go back to Moreland, though, because we have some lapis lazuli to collect and some little mysteries to get behind, even though I could probably sit and stare at the magpies all day. And I will see you guys next time, and we'll have to see what the next week's updates. Oh, look at those magpies. I'm so in love. I am 100% in love. Oh, I had no idea. I'm going to always meet up at the magpie tree from now on if I'm ever in the city. That's just, that's just too fun. But I will see you guys next time to see what the weekly updates have brought to Star Stable and what adventures we are going to go on. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.